A lot of times after the business trip, you end up with the pile of receipts, uh, something like this, what you see on the picture. And what you need to produce, you need to complete the, the report, expense reporting that may look something like this. And there are a couple things that you want to keep in mind, and that's what we're going to look at in this uh, video. Here we will look at the, uh, how you can reconcile uh, the business expense report, how you can group the data in each category, and how you can enter all of the information and you can submit a reasonable expense report uh, that meets all the company gu guidelines. And some small business owners can use this template as well. Um, it's, it's a pretty standard template. It just allows you to categorize data in different categories. So as I mentioned, we do have a lot of receipts. The first step in the process is to make sure we organize the data from all of these receipts. But before doing that, let's just look at uh, expense report considerations, right? What are we looking for uh, that might be a correct way reporting uh, the expenses, right? We wanna be able to uh, reconcile data by categories. So there are multiple categories in the business expense report. We have lodging, meals expense, mileage, parking, and a lot of times we want to group data uh, by date, right? So what happened in each category on the specific date? Then at the bottom, we will have total for each day. And then uh, on the right, typically we will have total in each category. Then we'll have subtotal for the, for the entire trip. And uh, this would allow us to reconcile uh, the data and making sure that everything uh, we have received for will be accounted for and submitted on the business expense. By the way, this template that you're looking at in this video is available for download. You should be able just to click on the description and there, there will be a link where you can download this template. So if you're planning to reuse it, that's a great opportunity for you to, instead of starting from scratch, use something that uh, you have overview for and download the file and uh, use it uh, for your file. Hopefully you'll find it useful for yourself. Let's continue looking at considerations, right? We've talked about reconciling data by categories, reconciling data for each day. Uh, you also wanna be able to reconcile data with the credit card to make sure nothing is missed. Um, and for that, you would need a credit card statement. Or, a lot of times, uh, transactions are available online even without the statement, you can just see what happened. And you can just need to log into your credit card account and you'll be able to see it. Uh, you want to make sure that you have receipts uh, for everything. A, a lot of times companies do not allow you to submit anything that you do not have receipt for. Uh, you want to make sure that this expense is compliant with company's policies. That's important. So it's a reasonably and justifiable expense within the limits. And each company has their own policies. So you got to consult with the policies or with more experienced people. Maybe a manager will be able to help you with that. And um, the last piece here is good understanding of what goes into each category on this expense reporting. For example, you may have automobile expenses, parking, uh, and uh, mileage. Uh, seems like a lot of similarities, but they all fall into different categories, and I'll explain why. So here we are looking for 
uh, we're looking at uh, all the expenses entered. And again, this is the part of the same tab in Reconciliation Summary document. Uh, and what I did, I just entered um, all of the receipts that I had from that big pile <laughs> that you guys saw. Uh, and uh, they fall all fall into different categories, right? We have mileage from one destination to another. You can, uh, the best way I find is to go to Google Maps and um, just calculate the miles. Uh, let me show you how to do that. So what we're looking for is Google Maps, uh, maps.google.com. And uh, you can just type your initial destination, could be a uh, very detailed address, could be just as generic as Chicago, Illinois. Then you click on directions and you say Madison, um, Wisconsin, right? And it calculates the route to Madison, Wisconsin, and it shows the mileage, right? So the mileage between Chicago, Illinois, and Madison, Wisconsin is 147 miles if you take in this route. If you take in a different route, that's 167 miles, so uh, through Milwaukee. So you choose which route you take and you remember um, the mileage that you take. And I'm going to enter 147 miles when I go back to my receipt uh, tracking software. Right, so uh, it's 147 miles. That's what we've entered. That's what we've calculated. Right, then we've entered all the receipts for airfare, uh, lunch, uh, right, uh, Uber, if you take an Uber, obviously. And then what we do is um, we click, we calculate lunch on different dates, dinners, if you had hotel, and again, those are random numbers <laughs> that I just put in, but you would need to substitute it and extend it uh, for your own numbers. Uh, if uh, you have the same number of expenses, which is quite unlikely, uh, you just need to uh, type the description and update the description, put the new amount and uh, keep the category or change the category. If you need to insert a new line, you select the line, uh, do a right mouse click and click insert, right? And you just insert the line. You can just do copy, which is copy button right here. And then you just do paste, paste button, and it uh, extends this and then you make updates. So if you need more lines, that's uh, very easy to do. Now, what you might have noticed is that I have a very cool feature uh, here, and that's uh, uh, fact, the feature that Excel provides me. When I select the specific row, I click a certain filter, you see that filter is selected here. And what it allows me to do, it allows me to, for example, say, okay, what were the expenses that I picked on uh, May 22nd? In order to do that, I just need to select, unselect everything, for example, and pick May 22nd, right? And it filters the data. And then uh, the coolest thing is I can, for example, do an auto sum and enter and do a sum here and calculate a case 403.76. Uh, another thing I can do, I can take this data now and go back and enter it, right? Uh, I mentioned this, both uh, items are on the same tab, right? And I showed them to you separately, but uh, now I'm showing both of them side by side. So you'll be able to enter for May 22nd, all of this number. So you can say, okay, mileage, um, and you can put 147 miles, right? Or if company requires you instead of 147 miles, um, calculate the mileage, you just need to learn what's the rate per mile. Uh, it's, I think, based on either IRS published guidelines or company has their own specific policies. Then you enter airfare expense, which would be 345, 345, uh, and then uh, travel expense, Right, that would be two Ubers that we've entered, very unusual. <laughs> and then we have two of the same expenses, uh, looks like a duplicate. Uh, but anyway, it's 44.44, 44.44. And uh, what we will do now, we will update the total column and we'll extend it here. And you see the total here is um, incorrect because uh, we don't have mileage here. But if I would enter 147, as I have number here, um, then it still doesn't match. <laughs> oh, because I did not enter lunch. So meals is missing, 14.32, right? 
and now 550 that's 76 in both places. Now, because you are in Excel, what Excel also allows you to do, you can uh, also do a sum. So if you look at this, I see 13.11 and 36.14 are the meal expenses for the May 23rd, right? Instead of uh, doing the sum in the calculator, which I could obviously do, I can just say, okay, equals 13.11 plus 36.14. Oops, and then I inserted something extra. Uh, it's 49.25, let's verify that, uh, auto sum both of these numbers, uh, 49.25. So which matches, we'll copy the total, we'll do copy and paste here, 49.25. So I have entered all the data for all the days and you can see now the subtotal here is uh, 1240.03. Uh, we can highlight subtotal in a different color. So let me do that real quick. Um, and uh, we can highlight subtotals also in a little bit different color. Um, and let's verify that this matches our subtotal. And I'm going to expand and remove the filter. And if we scroll down here, 1240.03. Now what I also did here uh, on top of the report, I can now add the name of the traveler department um, so here would be jason smith for example department marketing and dates would be 5 uh, 22 through 5 26 and you can extend it as much as you need to make sure it meets your corporate format you can also define the print area so you're not printing everything but just printing this area in uh, excel so you select the area and then you go to page layout and then you go and select print area and then set print area and now when you go file print right it prints uh, the copy but we probably would want to uh, change the orientation to landscape because it more matches landscape orientation and this is our expense report hope you have learned something and enjoyed this video make sure to click the subscribe button to stay in touch with me on youtube and join my email list so I can share with you more information about my free training courses. Hope to see you back soon. Again, this is Vadim Michalenka. Thanks again for watching.